Welcome to my quick tutorial on laser triggering with Pluto Trigger. My name is Steve Lancia, I'm a photographer here in Ottawa, Canada. Today I was playing around with this freeze motion photography and thought it'd be cool to share with you what I tried to do to get this type of shot. It is my first time doing this shot this way, so it certainly would do some things differently to improve the process next time. I shot this using a Pluto Trigger, which I'll put the link in the description. You could also do this without a Pluto Trigger with an assistant, but it'll be a little bit more unpredictable and probably a little bit more messy. I was shooting things like cherry tomatoes and rubber balls dropped into a wine glass um, with regular water or with food coloring in the water. So let's walk through the setup. Um, so with the Pluto Trigger there is a laser. So I had this laser set up on a light stand, a, a small background light stand pointing at the Pluto Trigger which acts as a receiver. The Pluto Trigger is connected to my camera to trigger the shutter when the laser beam is disturbed. My camera has a Godox trigger. It is triggering an AD200 flash. On the flash there's a MagMod grid. I'll also put a link in the description to uh, the MagMod uh, units. On the flash is a MagMod grid. I'll put a link in the description to the MagMod products. To make the light shine only on the glass and limit the light spill in the background in the camera. The reason I used Godox is because I wanted a high speed flash so I can set the speed on my camera at 1 2,000th of a second to freeze the action, freeze the water drops. And you can't do that with most flashes done wirelessly. You could do it with like a Nikon flash or presumably other brands um, set to high speed sync, but in this case you'd have to either connect it to the camera or connect it using a cable, and that's just a bit of a pain. So between the lasers I put a string, which is actually dental floss, so that I can follow where the laser is. It's really hard to see where the laser is and try to drop something in front of it. Um, not as easy as it looks. So I put the string there just so that I can drop the items through the th string and I know I'm aiming correctly. Uh, so I drop a cherry tomato, whatever I'm dropping into the water, it would break the laser, triggers my camera and the light all at once and the photo gets taken. Um, what I didn't show in this is my phone which is required to control the Pluto trigger. All right, well, thanks for watching. Uh, please add any questions or comments in the comments below. If you enjoyed this session, please like and subscribe, and that would give me a message to do more of these in the future. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.